Hey, it's Naomi here. So today is day 11 of Bookmas and today's topic for discussion is your top 11 most anticipated releases for 2017. Just in case I'm going to mention if you hear any noises, my little brother is watching TV and he does not want to turn off and it's like the neighbors are debating whether they want to be noisy or whether they just want to be quiet. So there's that. I have a lot of books that I'm anticipating for 2017. I previously filmed eight books that I'm really anticipating. I also have another 11. I have a couple more that I do want to read and I am intrigued by but I also have books that I want to read in 2017 so it's gonna be a very very tough year to actually get a lot of reading then but these are the books that I'm really looking forward to so let's get into the list the first book that I'm gonna mention is Caraval by Stephanie Garber I'm not gonna mention too much about it because I'm pretty sure a lot of people on booktube know about it but it, the cover is very beautiful and very gorgeous and I am going to be very vague about the synopsis because I don't want to know too much about it and I do know that it has like sibling interaction especially between two sisters and I think it's the that one day they escape from the clutches of their father because their father is very mean or whatnot and it's also like they are thrusted into this game that they have to try and survive to I think like help one of them escape because I think one of them has been captured but that's really all I know about the book and that's all I want to know because I want to go very blind into it next book that I'm going to mention is The Dragon's Price by Bethany Wiggins the cover is alluring and it's very very attractive and it also has dragons so that's another thing that kind of captured my attention and what I do know about this book is that basically you have two outcomes to choose from because you have two warring kingdoms and they basically made a pact like centuries ago and the princess has two alternate decisions to choose from she can either choose to marry the barbarian prince or she can forfeit her life to the dragon what i do like about this book is that the princess chooses the alternate way to escape because she doesn't want to marry the barbarian princess so she is lowered into the cave of the dragon and the prince that she was about to marry he's like nope i'm not gonna take this i'm gonna go down there i'm going to kill the dragon and i'm going to claim my woman but it's very interesting because the dragon has also other plans because if the dragon kills them he is freed from that cave because there's a magic that has trapped him there so it's gonna sound very intriguing and i hope this book really does not disappoint the next one that i'm gonna mention is called the bone witch by rin chupeco the cover is very stunning and it captured my attention and i hope it's going to be a very pleasurable reading experience just because you have our main protagonist and she is called T, T-E-A, that's her name. And one day she resurrects her brother and she discovers that she can deal with necromancy. The problem is that her magic is very feared by the people in her community. And it's one day that this um, person who discovers her or who has similar necromancy powers and he takes her into this island. But also there's like this secret war or something that's brewing and dark magic is happening. And it sounds like very interesting. Like what is she going to do? What is going to be accomplished? And I really want to read a book like that because I have not read one that deals with necromancy. So it's probably going to be a very interesting reading experience. The next one that I'm going to mention is Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. This is a sci-fi book and the synopsis really did intrigue me more than the cover because the cover is like, mm, I'm okay with it, but it looks like you're going to embark on a journey to save the planet. And it's like our main protagonist in a surprise attack. She is stuck in space and she discovers like this highly advanced prototype of a mech and it's supposed to be her sworn enemy, but basically he or it decides to save her or to embark on a journey with her and decide to save her and her planet. So it sounds like it might be a little bit intriguing and I really want to read it because I can't wait to see how everything does transpire and how, how everything takes shape. The next one that I want to mention is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. I have two takes on, the, on this book. It can either be one that's going to be very interesting or it can be a little bit of a flop for me just because I do know that it deals with a convent and in this convent it's called Sweet Mercy and it's basically that they train young girls to become killers. But it's like this convent hones their ability in fist and sword because it takes them 10 years to actually train them and one day they purchase Nona Gray and she is dubbed to be a bloodstained child at the age of eight because she is accused of murder so it sounds like it's going to be very interesting because it's like you're going to traverse on a journey with her is she going to like survive in the convent or she's going to die it sounds like it's going to be a very interesting reading experience the next one that I want to mention is Spindle Fire by Lexa Heller the cover looks dark and gorgeous and it attracted my attention I want to read more dark kind of books and also sci-fi books just because I've noticed that once I deviate from the books that I like I really end up enjoying them but I'm going to be very vague about this synopsis because I do know that it is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty and it does have like a dealing with sisters and it does sound like it's going to be very dark and that's all I really want to know to immerse myself into this book. The next one that I want to mention is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I'm going to be very vague with this synopsis and I really don't know what intrigued me about wanting to read this book but I really want to read it and it's like basically you're going to have a psychological suspense novel and you have like interaction between sisters so it's going to be a sibling relationship 
And I do know that in the synopsis it does say that you have, and I'm going to read it, it says, go to the echoes of the past. So it's like something in their past, are they hiding a secret? I don't know, it sounds like it might be very intriguing and I really want to read more suspense kind of novels. The next book that I'm gonna mention is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I'm gonna be very vague with the synopsis also just because I have not read the first book and I'm waiting until the second book comes out so I can like binge read both of them. And the cover still has not drawn my attention, but I cannot wait for it to come out so I can read both of them together. The next one that I'm gonna mention is Dark Breaks to Dawn by Sarah Larson. What I do know about this book is that the princess on her 18th birthday, she has access to all her powers and it's like she has to control her shape-shifting abilities just because her mother is on the war front of battle and also it's like the king wants control of both kingdoms what i don't know is if there's going to be love in this book just because it mentions that she has to rely on the alluring lord whatever the hell his name is and i'm like well please don't include a lot of romance just give me some action battle and let them have like a platonic love instead of always falling in love with one another the next one that i'm gonna mention is pitch dark by courtney alameda this also is a sci-fi book and what i think that we're gonna have like alternating points of views just because two different people were mentioned and we have the first one which is tuck and i think that he is a ship raider and then we also have lana and what do i know about it is that she has a space capsule that is housing the yosemite national park it's like her ship has been hijacked and something happened to the crew members what I do know about the crew members is like that their sharp pitch shrieks can actually kill you and there's something about the synopsis that really did intrigue me and I'm also gonna read it to you it says that in space nobody can hear you scream but on the John Moore the screams are the last thing you'll hear so it, it kind of really did attract me to it and also the cover looks very creepy and very eerie and I kind of want to read a little bit more books like I mentioned I want to read more books that are a little bit creepy or just you know different from the ones that I actually read and this really did intrigue me a lot the next and final book that i'm gonna mention is called the last magician by lisa maxwell and this book is urban fantasy and the cover is very very attractive what i do know about this book is that it takes place in modern new york and you have these people that are called the magius and they have magic there aren't that many of them but they live in hiding and in the shadows and there is like this invisible barrier that if they go through it they are going to be stuck in new york and it's called the brink there is also this main protagonist that's called esta it's something that really did attract me about it i don't know why because esta in espanol is Esta, like this person but she is a very talented thief and it's like she has to go back to the 19th century so there is going to be time traveling aspects just because she has been given the task of um stealing a very important magic artifact so it sounds like it might be very intriguing and i'm really interested to reading it and i hope that it sounds as pleasing as the synopsis really did and it does not disappoint me well, those are all the books that i'm anticipating for 2017 um i do have others but i just wanted to mention these but i just want to thank you for watching and until next time peace